Thank you for purchasing our Backpack 2 battery pack. This backpack has been designed to work with both our R1 Mark III and MR1 Mark II models and allows both these products to be used and enjoyed free from mains power. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up and use backpack with our R1 Mark III, although operation with MR1 is very similar. Inside your box, you will find the Ruark Backpack 2, an Allen key, two fixing screws, and an instruction manual. To begin, disconnect the mains power adapter from R1 and then position backpack on the back of R1 and push the DC output connector into the DC power socket on R1. Using the two screws and the Allen key provided, secure backpack onto R1, but take care not to over tighten. Once this is done, connect the mains power adapter from R1 to the DC input on the underside of backpack and this will start the charging process. When backpack is charging, the green light on the back will illuminate and when fully charged, the light will turn off. It takes approximately five to six hours for backpack to fully charge from new. When using backpack with R1 and it is not connected to a mains power supply, to turn R1 on, ensure that the power button on the rear of backpack is set to the on position and then press and hold the standby button on R1 until the Ruark Audio logo appears fully on the display. It's important that you don't release too soon as this may cause R1 not to fully activate. Also, please note that when R1 is running solely by backpack, when the standby button is pressed, R1 will turn off completely in order to conserve battery power. This means that the alarm functions will not activate under these circumstances, but will work as usual when mains power is reconnected. Finally, if backpack is disconnected from mains power for extended periods between use, we recommend setting the switch on the rear to off. This will help conserve power and maintain battery performance. 